Hey guys, it's here from FunMarketing.com. Um, I apologize if I look a little sweaty. Uh, I actually just got back home from uh, from a 5K run. Um, actually, my first one of the season. Uh, you know, if you've, been if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to kind of get out there and, and run for a bit. And as you can probably see from the uh, the uh, the thumbnail picture of this video, that uh, it is I go by like a creek that's close to my house. That's an awesome place to go run. And uh, just you know, yeah, it gets, gives you some time to just uh, keep quiet and reflect, and uh, you know, kind of get uh, just you yourself, the creek, and uh, and your thoughts. So um, I wanted to just kind of share something with you today. Um, today is the first. I started kind of doing this whole 5K running um, maybe about two years ago. I hadn't. I used to do long distance running like when I was in, in high school, not even in high school. I think in elementary school even. Um, and I hadn't really done it since then. And uh, one of my friends had actually picked it up, and he told me, you know what, you should you should kind of get into it. We should like you know. Uh, do some 5k runs or some 10k runs together and stuff and so I was like yeah you know what maybe get let me get back in shape and uh, let me do it because uh, even though I've been working out and I've worked out regularly since I was 17 cardio wasn't one of the things that I that I really did for long distance more than just maybe a warm-up when I was working out and so when I uh, when I picked up running again a couple of years ago um, I uh, I think my first run was almost 40 minutes long <laughs> I think it took me like 38 or 39 minutes to complete uh, a five kilometer run and so I was rather disappointed in myself because I remember like you know being able to run a lot a lot faster when I was younger and stuff and that was when I was a kid and so I figured I have longer legs now so I should probably be able to do better um, and so that was kind of a really wake-up call for me when I when I did that first run and so um, you know I, I, I was determined to, to better that time and uh, over the course of the next following weeks for sure I brought I was able to down that time quite a quite significantly and uh, and my my average is by the end of that season two years ago um, I think I was running a five kilometers in about maybe 26, 27 minutes. And so that's kind of like my average run right now. And uh, and so coming into last year when I did my first run of the season, I, again, was a little bit slower than I was hoping for. And I think I started at about 32 minutes for my five kilometer run. And so better than my first year, 39 minutes, but uh, obviously taking the winter off had an effect on me. And, uh, and this year, uh, I was actually able to, just as I just finished my run, um, I got it down to uh, 27 minutes for my first run. Uh, which is basically my average pace, which kind of is something I have to usually work towards, right? And so um, it's it's encouraging for me <laughs> to say that, uh, you know, it's a good starting point for me for this season, and I'm going to continue to work on it to get it under. And I, the funny thing is that actually the best time that I've actually had thus far has actually been uh, just under 25 minutes. So it took me 24 minutes and 51 seconds, actually, to do a five-kilometer run, and it happened to be the day after my 30th birthday. So... Um, Clearly, there is probably something there, some motivation, because I was feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit discouraged. You know, I'm hitting my thirty thirty, and uh, just thinking about you know life and where I'm at and where I want to be and all that kind of stuff. And so clearly, I took that out on the on the track, and then uh, <laughs> I, I got I kind of beat my time and did the best time I've had, and uh, haven't actually been able to beat that yet. So that's my goal this uh, this uh, season is to to beat my best time. Right, maybe the day after my thirty-first birthday. Uh, um, but uh, the, what I really want to share here with you guys is that you know consistency is really, really important if you want to be able to achieve the goals that you want to. Right, yeah, like running, um, and like your body kind of does. Right, when you when you start you know exercising again, it has a lot of muscle memory. Right, it uh, it tends to conform and get back to a, a level of, of fitness that. Um, that you know it used to be right when once once you've already achieved something your body recognizes that and is way quicker to adapt to that and uh, and get you going a lot faster and much like that right uh, if you especially if you keep consistent in what you're doing if you're going out there and like like myself where I'm going out there and running regularly and uh, when I get to my best times because I, I'm running on a regular basis like every you know every couple of days I go out there and I do a 5k run so naturally by the end of the season you know I've, I've got my time down and so that's kind of the goal for me this season again and it should be the same thing for you and your business, right? Where it's like if you keep consistent with uh, with what you're doing, you're doing the right things day in and day out. You know, you're you're doing those activities that are that are action producing and results driven. Meaning, you know, you're like sending your email out to your list, like creating that next uh, um, ad campaign, whether it's um, doing some other type of lead generation for yourself, whether it's creating a product, whether it's whatever it is that you're doing. And if you're doing things that are going to be, you know, action oriented and uh, and results driven then it's just a matter of time before you get those results. But you have to keep consistent, right? Because if you don't, you can end up like me, running a 39 kilometer, <laughs> thirty nine minute run um, and uh, and not being very happy with that, right? And same with you with your business. You're going to, if you just do a little bit, not do anything, do a little bit, not do anything, then you're not going to get much results. But for you to get a result, you need to get going, right? So the first step is really just taking that action. And that was the biggest thing for me, right? For the, me to take that first run two years ago. And that was a big wake-up call for me to be like, 
39 minutes for me to do a five kilometer run. I need to do something about this. And so I've constantly taken action since then to get the results and get to the level where I'm at right now. And so the same thing really applies to you and your business where, you know, you the first step is to take action, get a result. Cause once you get a result, you know what you did to get that result. And then you can work on doing more of what you did to get better results and, and improve on them. So, uh, so I hope the message resonates with you guys. Um, just a quick video for you here today. Um, if you're, you know, if you're liking these videos, make sure you comment, like, share uh, these videos for me. And um, until next time, guys, let's just get out there and have some fun. You can get more online marketing and training tips at netplaymarketing.com. While you're there, make sure to request access to the Net Play Marketing Facebook Mastermind Group, where you will be able to connect and network with other like-minded entrepreneurs. Find out what's working online right now and get any of your questions answered on how to best grow your business.